Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Nissan Pathfinder SL. Now the most notable features on this SL is its power moonroof. You also have your heated front seats along with your power liftgate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Nissan Pathfinder. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Nissan Pathfinder is its daytime running lights, you also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look you also have your hood deflector. Over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors. Looking up top here you'll find your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior your seat surfaces and you'll have your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your traction control on off with your heated steering wheel along with your power tailgate release. And on the inside of your driver's side door, You'll see your seat memory controls for your driver 1 and 2, along with your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, menu display, and then you also have your volume control, source, Bluetooth with voice recognition, and then you have your cruise control settings. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look here, you just hit the multi-informational display here, you're going to see a couple of different options on here, so if we take a look through here, just hitting the display button here, you'll be able to take a look at your average fuel economy, along with your tire pressure, fuel economy, warning and then you have your settings menu as well now taking a look at the center dash as well as the display you're going to see a couple of different options on here which include a digital clock you have your temperature controls just located down below for your dual zone climate control and the controls for it are just located down below here at the bottom but up top here you'll see your hazard lights as well as your settings menu so if you go inside there you'll be able to scroll through and take a look at a couple of the additional features in here. Now you do have your info button as well you, where you can access your fuel economy in there. Volume control settings with your AM, FM, CD player. And then if we take a look just down below there you are going to see your power outlets as well as your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Matted to a automatic transmission along with your 4x4 select. Now if we take a look at the very top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with uh, integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top here, you, you'll be able to see your uh, open and close for your power moonroof as well. As well as your sunglass case holder and then I'm just going to throw this into reverse here just so I can show you what your backup camera is going to look like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines on there making things much easier for you when you're trying to back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side here and your rear hatch release located underneath your Nissan emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on your rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have a 50-50 split for your third row seats, so depending on what your needs are for, you can have two additional passengers in the back here, but if you don't need the passenger capacity, you can actually fold these seats back down into the floor, getting some additional cargo space for yourself. Now if we take a look just underneath the floor here, you're going to see some under the floor storage space where you can hide away some of your valuables. Over on the left hand side you'll also find that power outlet and then once you're all finished up all you have to do is push on the button once and it will close for you automatically 
making things much easier for you when you're trying to um, uh, grab your grocery bags or the kids sports bags out of the vehicle or putting them in as well just uh, all you have to do is push on the button once thank you so much folks for watching this video today if you have any questions on this 2014 Nissan Pathfinder SL please visit us we're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park Alberta Canada the phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.